Hello folks, Jason Christman here at Grazing Acres Farms. Today I wanted to bring you a little update. Um, this is one of the areas that we bale grazed over the winter and uh, somebody suggested I keep doing updates on that. Here's one of the areas where there was a bale. You can see the grass starting to come up through it. Looks very nice. Very green and rich looking. Here's another area. Um, I'm going to put the date on the bottom of the screen of approximately when we left this area and I'll also go ahead and put how many days it's been from then till now since we've been here. You can see we got some great, great grass growth here. More bales there. Um, this particular paddocks, you know, it's, it's by no means mob grazing. Uh, we go from the fence, and I think you can probably see the poly stake right down in there. So the poly wire runs right down through here, about probably 50 yards back behind that white heifer you see there. And then it goes all the way down to the tree line. So we're going to leave them in here for a couple days. Um, then we're going to head back to the front because I've got 18 bread cows coming tomorrow evening. So I like to have the this herd up front to keep the new group calm. But uh, the bale areas look great. Now what I want to do, just for reference, is pull out my grazing stick here and let's see how much grass growth we do have in some of these areas. Uh, you want to look for a place that's average and you know they've already been in here grazing. Um, I'm going to say about right here. So it's it's way over 12 inches. We probably got 16 inches of grass on average right in this area. So pretty tremendous. Now hopefully this will trample out some of the blackberries and uh, they won't come back. I'm going to cruise a little bit more over that direction where the blackberries were a little bit thicker and we'll inspect those areas where bales were. Okay, so this is uh, the area right here. You can see some of the blackberries where we didn't bale graze. Here's an area where there was a bale. Now let's go in here and look. There is still some shoots from the blackberries coming up. Um, I'm anxious to see what this organic matter does for them. Does it promote them? Did they not like it? Uh, right now it looks like it's kind of promoting them. They look really healthy for shoots. But over here in this area, just grass. A few little shoots over there in a the distance. So, for the most part, you know, I'm pretty happy with what I see. Um, at the very least, these are all set way back. They're not five, six feet high where they're going to be shading the grass. So, you know, ideally I would have skipped this area and not grazed it now and let the grass get hopefully ahead of the blackberries and, and shade them out so they're not getting any sun. I'll walk around here for a second. Here's another area. Here's what it did look like. That's what it looks like now. Now everybody tells me, you've got them blackberry plants, I hope you're treating for black leg. Yeah, we don't do anything for black leg, hasn't been a problem. I understand the concern when you've got deer running around, but hasn't been a problem here. So, maybe I'm rolling the dice, but at the same time, it's working. Another area. So you can see how all these areas Got a nice layer of organic matter on them now. Just leftover hay. And they're coming back in. All right, I mean, some of these areas are really thick in hay. So it's gonna take, excuse me, take them a little longer to get established. That's just an update, folks. I wanted to share it. Um, let you see what it looks like before we graze this area. 
I wanted to share that over there last night, but at the same time, it was getting dark. We had a storm rolling in, so I had to work around the weather. I'd also like to mention, if you've been watching, uh, following my videos for very long, the other beef cow that was supposed to have her calf, she had a healthy little bull calf. Uh, doing very well. And I mentioned I have 18 bred cows coming in tomorrow evening. Uh, those are expected to start dropping calves any day. So we're going to switch the program a little bit. Go from finishing cattle to a cow-calf. It's going to be a little bit more profitable, I think, for the guy I manage cattle for. And uh, at the same time, that'll help me build my herd because I'll have his bull here. So looking forward to that. Got lots to learn. If you like the video, throw me a thumbs up. Be appreciated. If you haven't subscribed, please take time to do so. And make sure you click on that little bell. That way when I release new videos, you're sure to be notified. Thanks for watching. Crazy Nakers Farm.